Welcome back to Gemma Movie Recaps, today I'm going to explain the movie Creed 2 released in the year 2018. This is a squell of the first Creed film which you can watch first in the previous video on this channel. Ivan Drago, a former professional boxer, wakes up his son Victor to start his boxing training in Kiev, Ukraine, as the film opens. After that, they attend a boxing match, where Victor dominates and quickly knocks out his opponent. Victor is a giant with a ton of power and energy, and a promoter named Marcel is watching him from the audience. After losing to Ricky Conlon three years ago, professional boxer Adonis Creed, sometimes known as Danny, has won six straight fights in the United States. Donnie is prepared to face Danny Wheeler, also known as Stuntman Wheeler, in a World Heavyweight Championship bout today. Wheeler manages to land a few blows on Danny and in return Donnie also punches Wheeler hard after some rounds of intense battles. Danny hits a solid punch on Wheeler causing him to fall to the floor unconscious eventually Donnie wins the match and claims the WBC World Heavyweight Championship and the adoration of thousands of spectators. Danny visits Rocky with an engagement ring and asks him if he should propose to Bianca for Mary. Donnie then goes to Bianca's room and makes an attempt to pop the question died as soon as she gets out of the shower to his bad luck when he confesses his feelings towards her Bianca cannot hear him as she hasn't put on her hearing aids she just notices Donnie on one knee with the ring and has no idea how to react to the situation. Bianca is first taken aback and unsure of what to say but after Donnie assures her of his love for her she happily accepts his proposal. Meanwhile Ivan along with his son Victor arrive in Philadelphia backed by their promoter buddy later that day for the first time in over 30 years Ivan pays a visit to Rocky's restaurant to meet him. Ivan is the same boxer who Rocky beat in a famous match several years back when Rocky arrives there. He's surprised to see Ivan waiting for him Ivan then proposes a match between Victor and Danny but Rocky rejects the proposal telling him that he should forget the rivalry between them and move on with life enraged Ivan tells Rocky that he lost everything. Elsewhere Donnie and Bianca are at a diner enjoying some quality time just then a news program shows Victor vying for Donnie's World Heavyweight Championship title. While watching one of Bianca's concerts, Danny's friend approaches him and tries to convince him to fight Victor. This provokes Danny to fight an exact revenge for the death of his father. The news reporters don't forget to mention that Victor is the son of the person who killed Donnie's father back at that time. Surprisingly, Danny accepts his offer and departs. Donnie and Bianca visit Mary to notify her about his plan to fight Victor after Danny tries to address, saying that they will be relocating to Los Angeles in their new apartment close to his mother Mary's home. Despite the fact that the pair laughs it off, when Mary hears about the altercation, she surmises that they are there to announce Bianca's pregnancy. When Bianca decides to obtain a pregnancy test, they are shocked to learn that it is positive. After some consideration, Donnie and Bianca decide to keep the child. A little while later, Danny visits Mary to tell her about the fight with Victor. Mary is obviously saddened to hear that Donnie wants to engage in combat. But she agrees to let him do so on the condition that he does not include her or Apollo in his justification for the fight. In the next scene Donnie seeks out Tony Evers aka Little Duke turns out that Tony is the son of the same man who trained Apollo back then after a bit of thinking Tony accepts Donnie's request to prepare him for the match against Victor following this Donnie engages himself in rigorous training and leaves no stone unturned for the preparation for the fight. Who wanna name labels? Who wanna see my greatness? That means something. That factor in- You can't say Creed without Drago, right? Fight on the day of the announcement for the match Victor and Danny attack each other and show how much anger and hatred is filled inside them. The scene then shifts to the match day where Ivan makes a remark about Apollo enraging Danny at the start of the match Danny appears to be confident in himself landing a few strong headshots on Victor however the giant immediately gathers his composure and counters Danny with several hard punches Rocky. On the other hand can be seen alone in his restaurant watching the fight meanwhile Victor lands a series of strong punches on Danny's ribs. Breaking them as Danny is on his knees writhing in pain Victor finishes him off with an unlawful headshot. Though Victor gets disqualified for the illegal strike everyone else is concerned about Donnie's condition. After a few weeks, Bianca notices that Donnie is becoming less approachable to everyone, especially her. Little Duke approaches Donnie, who is still the acknowledged champion, 
and tells him that Victor wants a rematch. He also advises him that he is the option of not fighting Victor but that he must choose an opponent quickly or risk forfeiting the championship. However Danny seems uninterested and walks away without responding. Meanwhile Mary writes a letter to Rocky on the back of a sonogram photo of the unborn baby informing him that Donnie needs him this finally persuades Rocky and he travels to Los Angeles to surprise Donnie at his mother's home. There Rocky tells Donnie that he thinks of him as his own son and doesn't want him to fight against Victor her after exchanging a few insults the two ultimately reconcile. Eventually, Bianca gives birth to a girl whom she and Danny name Amar. A while later, the physicians test Amar to see if she shares Bianca's hearing issue. Unluckily, their greatest worries are realized when Amar is born deaf. Upon learning this, Rocky remembers his son Robert and leaves the room. Outside, he makes an attempt to call Robert but eventually discard the attempt. One night Bianca leaves Amar alone with Danny after some time Amar starts crying and Danny finds himself helpless to make her quiet after multiple failed attempts. He takes Amar on a trip to the boxing training center surprisingly when Danny starts hitting the punching bag she calms down and even grins at him this makes Donnie very happy and he realizes that Amar too loves boxing he also realizes that boxing is in his blood and he must defeat Victor to prove himself. Donnie and Bianca had a serious discussion at night about fighting Victor once more. He also expresses his desire to triumph and become their daughter's hero. Bianca grudgingly agrees and demands that he pledge to return to his family. She then begins motivating him by telling him that he must ultimately win the fight. Little Duke has been given the duty of phoning the WBC and making the fight against Victor official after Danny visits him and Rocky to discuss the fight specifics. This time, Rocky agrees to coach him. In the next scene Rocky takes Donnie to an isolated spot in the middle of the desert where all of the training equipment is constructed of abrasive materials in order to re-energize his spirit and familiarize him with harsh surroundings they focus primarily on muscular endurance and real match scenarios slowly Victor builds his strength and starts becoming an unbeatable boxer. Slowly Donnie builds his strength and starts becoming an unbeatable boxer. Afterwards, the scene changes to match day in Moscow, and as Danny enters the arena, the Russian crowd boos him, while Rocky cheers them on. Victor has Bianca and Mary at his side to lift his spirits. Danny dominates the opening round of the match to send a clear message that this duel will not end like the last one in the second round, but the audience is loudly cheering for Donnie because they came to see him win before the match Rocky approaches Donnie and encourages him to stay strong and fight until the end. Victor counterattacks and gains the lead with multiple body blows to Donnie's ribs and powerful headshot. <laughs> Victor leads the next few rounds and knocks Donnie down, but to his surprise Donnie refuses to remain down and continues getting back up during the round breaks Rocky attempts to give Danny signals to take Victor down while Ivan urges Victor to attack Donnie and break him again. Shortly after Danny manages to score more effective strikes knocking Victor down twice Ludmila and her husband realize that Donnie's going to win the match so they get up and walk away from the arena. When Ivan and Victor notice them leaving Victor gets devastated as he thinks that he let his mother down. It dawns on Ivan that his son's life is more important than just a championship and respect, so he throws in the towel, abandoning the fight, and saves his son's life as Donnie continues to attack Victor while he is in a very serious situation and is not defending himself. Donnie keeps his heavyweight title with us. As Bianca enters the ring to join Danny and Tiny Duke in congratulating the winner, Ivan reassures Victor that it's okay that he lost and embraces him. In the following scene, Rocky excuses himself and tells Donnie to enjoy his moment before watching them rejoice from outside the ring. Rocky Ultimate pays Robert a visit in Chicago, where he first gets to know his grandson Logan. On the other hand, Robert welcomes Rocky inside and introduces Logan to his grandfather. Victor and Ivan traveled back to Ukraine to finish their training. 
In the final scene, Donnie pays his respects to his father and introduces Amara to him as he, Bianca, and Amara visit Apollo's tomb. All of that was in the video. I hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe for more, use the like button to support us, and leave a comment if you'd want us to review your favorite movie till the next time. I appreciate it, take care.